Hi, uh, my name is Steve Conner and I'm uh, going to demonstrate to you a project that I've built called the Tesla Guitar. Now, what this is, is a Tesla coil that you can play from an electric guitar as if it was a guitar amp, except uh, it produces enormous bolts of lightning that reproduce the musical notes that you're playing. Now, uh, it needs a lot of electronics to make this work and in order to uh, for you to appreciate how it works, I'm going to just uh, try and explain the background behind it. So I've got a smaller Tesla coil here that I'm going to use because the actual uh, one for the, the Tesla guitar is so powerful that you don't want to go anywhere near it. Uh, this one on the other hand is relatively tame. So what the Tesla coil is, it's basically, uh, it was invented by Nikola Tesla, as you'd probably guess from the name. Nikola Tesla was a famous uh, engineer around the turn of the century who invented the system of electricity that we all use nowadays and uh, with the fortune that he made from that he went on to do some very strange experiments and his dream ultimately was to do away with wires for transmitting electricity and just broadcast it wirelessly into everybody's homes and the Tesla coil was the apparatus that he invented to do this so it's basically uh, at the bottom there's a, a coil with a few turns of thick wire here there's very many turns of fine wire and when a current is passed through the bottom it gets transformed to a very much higher voltage in this coil at the top. The power is broadcast from this metal lump on top in the form of uh, electromagnetic waves and Tesla's idea was that you would be able to pick it up in your home. We can actually, it does actually work. I've got an ordinary low energy lamp here and uh, if I pair this coil up, we could actually light the lamp with it. There you go, you can see that lighting up nicely. It only has a range of a few feet, unfortunately. And this was the problem with Tesla's system. It's really hard to transmit the power over a long distance. His dreams of beaming it halfway across the Atlantic just didn't happen. That was then, anyway. So, a hundred years on, the Tesla coil still works much the same as it did, but the main advance is that now we have transistors. In the last five years or so, some very powerful devices called IGBTs have come out. It stands for Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. And these were developed for welding machines and industrial robots and the like, but they can control huge amounts of power. And this is the key to uh, their project. Basically, in the coil we have this one has just two small IGBTs. The coil we're going to use for the demonstration has four large ones like this. As you can see, it's still just a wee tiny lump of plastic and metal, but it replaces about a room full of uh, turn of the century equipment. So basically, the gist of the, if we head through to where we've got the actual machinery set up, So the gist of it is uh, that we take power in from the, from the mains, from the wall socket, and using a set of these transistors, it gets converted into high frequency power and modulated by the signal from the electric guitar. So in order to, for safety reasons, and to stop interference, the signal from the guitar, your guitar plugs in here, We'll be using some ordinary effects pedals with it. A fiber optic transmitter in here converts it into pulses of light that get fed down the optical fiber. This allows you to be completely insulated from it while you're playing it, which is uh, quite important for safety reasons. Um, incidentally, the reason why I'd, I'd never have thought of building this, but originally, it was a, a guy in Denmark who commissioned me to build a set of six that could be played from a, a synthesizer. And uh, so it was thanks to him that I had the idea. And I realised that it could be extended to be played from a guitar. So anyway, um, it's time to actually try playing the thing. I'm going, to use my, I'm going to use my best guitar for the job because uh, it has metal shielding on the pickups. This is, uh, the guitar makers do this for looks, but it's, it's a great help in keeping 
electromagnetic interference suit. The one problem with the Tesla guitar, this is subject to development. It's an extremely rough and nasty sounding instrument. And it's quite difficult to play. Well, that's my excuse anyway. So, I'm going to attempt to get you out of it now. doing that for long. It's quite a hard instrument to practice as well because the neighbours get annoyed in no time at all. It's incredibly loud and really quite uh, vicious sounding. It's idea if there are any heavy metal guitarists out there, this could be just the thing you need to take your tone over the edge. So I'm going to try playing one more tune up and hopefully it won't blow up or Yeah, I'm sure the neighbours appreciated it too. You better leave it there. Right, okay. Okay, cheers.